Hey, welcome back to the channel. You made it to, I guess, the special hidden video. It's not really hidden if you listen to the instruction and you're interested in winning the $100. But you made it here, so. I'm doing a special contest, a $100 contest, or up to a $100 contest with a prize of, of a maximum of 100 to celebrate to reward one special subscriber who shall win the contest with that prize money. And I'm, in this video right here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to win that $100 or to enter for your chance to win that $100. So the rules are pretty simple and I'm actually making it easier than I have made in the past. In the past, I put like picture predictions against mine. So you had to beat me just to get like $20 and you had to beat, beat me and everyone else. But this one, I definitely want to give it to somebody. I want to give $100 to somebody because I meet, reached that 500 subscriber mark and it's still quickly on past 500 even now. But to reward the you know, somebody for me reaching 500, I want to do something special. So now that the little formalities out of the way right there or whatever that's, whatever you call that is out of the way. This rules are pretty simple. It's like you got to subscribe to me, obviously. Well, I'm going to give somebody up to a hundred dollars that not even subscribe to me. So that's simple. Just hit the, the subscribe button right under this video. It's under every single video that I post. Hit the subscribe button. You gotta do that off the right off rip. Follow me on Twitter. I'll post my Twitter either in this video, like I like write it down here at the bottom somewhere, or probably both. I'll probably post it in, on here and I'll post it below in the description. So follow my Twitter. And that's not just for me to get my Twitter followers up. I don't really care too much about that right now or at all at the moment. Maybe never, but that's just for communication because I'm not giving you my number. I'm not giving nobody my number. If you do have my number, then you do have my number. But if you, but I'm not just giving out to the world. I'm not giving my number out. So Twitter, the easy way to contact me. You could DM me and talk to me. Like say if you win the contest, that's how I'm going to contact you to say, what's your cash app? So then that takes me to number three, get cash app. I'm not going to get a PayPal or get this or get that for, you know, to give you money. If you want to get money from me, then you kind of, you got to follow the steps. So get a cash app and then I'm going to cash app. If you win, then I will DM you on Twitter. Like, so step two, that's step two. I will DM your Twitter. That's why I need you to follow me on Twitter. Then if you win, I will DM you on Twitter. And, um, and from when I DM you on Twitter, that's how, what's it called? Yeah, when I DM you on Twitter, I'll, you know, ask for your cash app and then I will send you the money. So follow, subscribe to me, follow my Twitter, have cash app. And that's really the first three things you need. And then now we get to the contest part, the competition part where you need to, how you will win. Like, so that's just getting you in the door. That's just the minimum requirements. So to actually really enter into the contest and like to actually compete, I'm not going to do the whole card like I did in the past. I'm just going to do the three title fights. So you got Usman versus Covington in the main event. You got the co-main event, Holloway versus um, Volkanovski. Then you got um, Nunez versus Durandami. So three fights right there. And it's not going to be the full card. It's those three fights. So you're going to pick the winners for those fights. So it's going to be like Usman, um, say Holloway, Nunez. So that's going to be your people. You're going to stack them up. So you're going to put like, in the comment section below, not in this video, but in my main card fight prediction, which you kind of came here from, you're going to follow the, um, yeah, you're going to comment in that comment section. Like, and you're going to say, um, say like Usman, that, not even, you don't even have to say that full name. You can say Usman, covered, like Usman, um, Usman Holloway Nunez, you can do it like that. You don't have to, I'm not saying you pick those people. You pick who you think gonna win it, and you say their last name, and you say KO submission TKO. Yeah, KO submission decision next to the name. So and you stack them. So like Usman. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make it. I'll make it even easier for you guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what it would, should look like. Okay, a little bit easier for you right there. So you see, this is not the Zach card, but this is going to be just an example right here. So obviously. Over Usman and Holloway and all of them didn't fight on this last card in DC. But this is what you had to do on the video for Usman versus Covington if you want to win. So you pick your fighters you think going to win. So you like to pick Usman via TKO, Holloway via decision, Nunes via submission. And at the end, you will put a total time of the accumulation of like between the three fights. So how long do you think in, in total the three fights will last combined, not individually combined? So each fight is, since they're all title fights, it's a maximum of 25 minutes for each fight. So if they all go to the decision, it's 75 minutes. So you have 75 minutes to work with. So 75 minutes or less, how long do you think the three fights will last for? And it's not counting, like, it's might get kicked in the nuts. I'm just talking about as far as the five minutes in each round. Because I'm not talking about that outside stuff. Just for the rounds themselves. Like, not no nothing, no outside factors. No walk-ins, no nothing like that. Just the regular rounds. Just to clarify. So just... 
the regular allotted 70, 25 minutes between each fight, which would totals to accumulated 75 minutes. So, like I said, you got to like. That's going to help you by liking the video. And you can like it. Yeah, definitely best like it when you watch the video. You can like it after you win because that's going to help you still get to $100. Like, say you the video is at like 50 likes and the fight's over and you won the 50, I mean, you won the contest. And you're like, damn, I want to win $100. Then call up your cousin, call up your auntie, call up everyone you know, call up your frenemies, and you can still get the video to 100 likes. Matter of fact, you could say hold it off until it gets to 100 likes before you get your cash prize. Matter of fact, you could say I want to wait a little bit and I still want to win 100 dollars. So let me get these likes up, and then I'll award you the 100 dollars when the cash. I mean, when the prize is you know when it reaches 100 likes. Or you could say I just want it now. I don't care for the 100 dollars. I want. I want the 50. I want the 60. I want the 30. Whatever the video is at once you win, if you do win. But like I said, best of luck to everybody entering. But like I said, like the video. You can see I like the video. But the video you're going to like is the Usman Covenant one. Not this video right here, but the Usman Covenant one. It's going to look the same layout. And you're going to do a similar thing like this. You're going to pick who you want to win. It doesn't have to be Usman. It doesn't have to be Holloway. You can say you want Covenant win. You can have Volkanovski win. You can have Germanna win. However, mix up, however you see the fights going. And then you pick the total a lot of times. So pretty self-explanatory right there. More helpful advice. Google can really be your best friend with this stuff. So if you want to look into any of these fighters and you're not really a fight fan or you didn't really look into this one and now you want to win $100 or you want to win the cash prize, then just Google. Like you say, Usman Covington, it could pull up the whole card. It could pull up their, pull up their records. You could Google, find videos about them, etc., etc. Look up Usman. Like you could literally have a link that could take you to Usman's page, the Covenant page. You can see what they've been doing, all the other champions and stuff. And then Google could really be your best friend. I not, most times when I'm looking for cards, like saying who's on cards and updates, I go to Google. Like just type it in, see what the card is. And most times the layout's going to play out just how the card will play out. A lot of other sites, it'd be all help to skelter, but you're really only picking the title fight, so it don't really matter. All different platforms and websites going to give you the same layout because the title fights are will be in that order regardless, unless somebody gets injured. But yeah, Google can be your best friend. That's just another helpful advice. Summation, like, I don't know if that got in there, but so in summation, to what you had to do for this video is, Subscribe to me first, simple, obvious. Follow me on Twitter. Helps my subscribe. I mean, helps my spot, like follower count, but I don't care for it. But it helps. What it really helps you is to communicate with me. I'm not going to track you down. Follow me on Twitter because that helps me contact you if you do win or if you have any other questions. I can help you with them. So follow me on Twitter. That's going to be in the link in the description below this one. I'm having. What's well, not going to be a link? It's going to be in the description below with my Twitter. Yeah. So Twitter. That's for contacting me and me contacting you. Cash App, because that's the only way I'm going to be giving money out is via Cash App. So subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Cash App, have Cash App so I can Cash App you the money. And then, um, yeah, like the video. Each like helps increase the, you know, the prize money up to $100. So get that to 100 likes for sure. And yeah, and then we comment in the comment section below. Just rewind back to the, the like the tape, not the tape, but show rewind back. To when I just showed you what you had to do or the, the layout or what you had to do to win. So pretty self explanatory Do those things right there and you'll be entered to win and you'll have a good shot. So and as far oh let me let me say one more thing. I only gotta say how the time count thing gonna work. The time count thing factors in as far as whoever like how this thing's gonna go like how somebody's gonna win. Like matter of fact, this is the most important thing. So how somebody will win is it whoever has like say whoever it's either gonna be whoever has the best picks. Like say if somebody goes three and oh on picks, then they most likely gonna win, but I think a lot of people probably go three and zero. It's gonna be a lot of that. But then that's where the time thing comes in. It's like, say everybody goes three and zero, then whoever had the best time is gonna win. I'm not gonna do no like no price, nah, yeah, no prices right thing where whoever went over is gonna um, be disqualified. It's gonna be just whoever came closest, whether above or below, whoever came closest to the um, the total time will win. In that case, if it's uh, dead even, like like split between like a hundred people, and then whoever among those people had the closest total fight time between the three fights combined will win the hundred dollars. So that's just another measure to make sure that we call that only, you know, it's not as much even out picks. Like everybody just picking the same thing or having, Oh, it's like it's the deciding factor. If it's all even, that's the deciding factor. And if some say some people got the same amount of time as each other, but it's going to be a lot of different deciding factors. Say somebody pick KO and they pick, the other person's big decision, the fight goes to the decision. It's, it's a lot of different factors. Even if they pick the same fighter, it could be there. But like this in the case that they pick the same fighter, the same method, the timing is going to distinguish it. And say there's some weird case, they pick the same fighters, the same time. 
and all that stuff. Or maybe they picked a different time, but it's the same difference. Like he picked two seconds above, he picked two seconds below. Then I'm gonna work it out. But I might just probably likely just go whoever commented, like whoever commented first. I'm gonna go whoever preceded the other ones. Like whoever commented first, I'll probably go with that one. And another thing, I know a lot of people, you know, we try to mix things up. And like I'm not gonna accept any more entries, you know, after a certain time. So get those entries in early. Don't try to do them on the day of. Well, you could try to do them on the day of, but don't do the mid car. You try to do the mid car. Like, as soon as the car, no, as soon as the main car starts, it's over. If you, I see, like, the timing or you edited something after, you know, the certain time, like, the car started, it's the main car started, and also I see you went back and edited something. Like, just don't edit it. Make sure you post it well before the fight day and definitely before, the, like, the car, main car starts. Because you started, like, the main, once the main car starts, it's over. So whatever time, that's probably like seven or eight. Once the main car start, no entries accepted, no edits accepted. So get your entries out there and get them in. So yeah, just do what I do with the instructions, and you should have a good shot to win. And basically, if you follow instructions, you probably be above a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna try to skip and do this and that. But if you follow instructions, you can do that. And if you say if you do win and you got you don't got cash up or you live out the country or something like that, then contact some middleman you can know, like some friend you know in the states, and maybe they can split it with you and they can get the cash app and then they can send it to you. The rest on PayPal or something, but. As far as that, that's pretty much the structure right there. I'm going to say it one more time again. Subscribe, obvious. Twitter, that's going to follow me on Twitter. That's how I contact you. Cash App, that's how I'm going to give you the money. And um, like the video, that's how you increase the pot. And then just rewind back to that clip and it showed you exactly what you had to do to, um, you know, enter your raffle into the, to, you know, just throw your ticket out there. Put your foot in the race, put your shoe in the race or whatever you want to call it. But that's really all I got to say. I said the same thing a couple of times, so it's sticking your brain a little bit. But that's the video, and that's what you got to do for your chance to win up to $100. And that's the video.